Nothing great ever happens if you quit. Down five runs with two innings remaining in the state semifinals, on the road and playing the number one team in the state, Coach Bo DeForest reminded his team over and over, nothing great ever happens if you quit. We kind of had our heads down a little bit. Felt like he was kind of getting away from us. I gathered him up. I told him nothing great ever happens if you, if you quit, uh, to stay within the game, keep fighting. The Hawks had been in this situation before. Just a year ago in the state quarterfinals, they were down four to Pleasant Hill with two innings remaining. But that was different. They were at home. They were led by a group of senior standouts, and they were expected to win. This year, the seniors were gone, and a group of underclassmen were a year ahead of schedule. They were just supposed to be happy to have made it this far. The game began, and offense was hard to come by, both teams dominating from the mound before Lapine broke through in the top of the third and got one run on the board. Peahill answered back quickly, tying it up in the bottom of the fourth. And then in the fifth, everything went sideways on the Hawks. Multiple hits were given up, then fielding errors and pass balls compounded the situation, and the damage was done. The reigning state champs found themselves down six to one with only two innings remaining. But then, a spark. The Hawks got three runs back, only to give one back in the bottom of the sixth. As the final inning began, Coach DeForest rounded up his troops one last time. The improbable comeback was complete, but there was still work to be done. Three more outs stood between the Hawks and another trip to the ship. Adam Plant stepped to the mound and delivered the knockout blow. The Lapine Hawks were headed back to Kaiser and another shot at the state title. As the legendary coach Rudy Tomjanovich said, never underestimate the heart of the champion.